What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. So what I want to talk about today is this metagame trend that I've been seeing lately. So for context, the Portland Regionals just recently happened and in my preparation for Portland Regionals, I did a lot of ladder games um, and I noticed two things uh, when I got higher up on the ladder. Uh, let's say around like the 1800s. So the first thing that I noticed when I hit that point in the ladder was one, you guys stopped opening up your team sheets. Open up the team sheets, cowards. Some of us are practicing for tournaments. We should probably be doing best of threes, granted, but open up the team sheets. Uh, second thing is there was a decent amount of snow for a while, uh, and that is interesting. So the reason I want to bring this up now is because uh, Portland Regionals did happen recently, and Nick Navarre actually top cut. He got top four with this snow team. So what I want to talk about is how snow functions, what it does, and why it's actually sort of on the rise right now. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day, which is going to be, what do you think of snow and how are you gonna put it on your team? Obviously this is not a full snow team. For some reason, whenever I talk about like Pokemon, and I just open up Showdown and there are Pokemon in the team builder, there's always someone in the comments and it's always someone different that goes, hey, can you give me a pace for the team? And I'm like, there, there was no team. There was no team in this video. So keep in mind, this is not a team. There are two Obama Snows and two Iron Bundles. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I want to talk about the Pokemon that do well with snow and how it functions and everything. So let's, let's talk about why snow is sort of good right now. So Snow isn't good. It's Iron Bundle that's good. And a bomb of snow that makes Iron Bundle better. I'm going to put that out there. Iron Bundle is a Pokemon with 56 HP and 114 defense. That 56 HP makes it so, even on the physical side, moves that are hitting for super effective are not something it want to take. Uh, and, you know, even like neutral special moves are something that it doesn't want to take. It has sort of like Cartana Syndrome where it has low HP, high defense, low special defense. But we also don't want to run an Assault Vest on it most of the time because there are better ways to make it bulky. Let's talk about that. The Snow is a recently buffed Hail. Hail was a bad weather. A lot of people say that, hey, you know what? I don't get why they nerfed Hail. They made it worse. And I'm like, no, stupid. Um, Hail was bad because it hit everything that didn't have overcoat, safety goggles, or was an ice type. You couldn't run Focus Sash on your own team if it wasn't an ice type. Uh, you basically got like almost nothing out of leftovers, and it was just an overall detriment to your team. Sand can get away with that because there are three type immunities along with safety goggles, and you can run leftovers if you want to counteract that. So Sand can get away with it. Snow couldn't because it was only ice types that were immune which made it so that you had to run a lot of ice types or you were basically hurting yourself the whole game. So why is snow better? Snow loses that defense or loses that um, passive damage on everything in exchange for a defense boost on all ice types. It's not like a normal defense boost where you increase your stat, it's a passive effect, right? So you can't haze it away or anything. Um, so that passive defense boost actually makes Iron Bundle really, really bulky. Let me open up this calc right now. Uh, let me turn off Aurora Veil. Let me turn off snow and let's open up uh let's get like an iron hands in here just assault vest iron hands 236 let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see so you can see that close combat is a guaranteed one shot on this 196 four defense uh iron bundle off of just 236 attack iron hands granted it's a 120 base power move coming off of 140 base attack but yeah that's not great why would you get one shot by that that's stupid so with the snow up if we were to activate the snow with um with the was it called? Obama Snow on the field. Now, that's actually a roll, a 50-50 to KO. So watch this damage just fall off. Not only does Iron Bundle have access to that Snow Boost, but it also has access to a very fast Aurora Veil. Now, there are different ways you could run the Iron Bundle. I like the Booster Energy set, but if you want to have a, uh, a more like long-term plan for your game, if you want it to support the things in the back as well better, you can also switch over to the... Um, What's it called? Uh, to the Light Clay set, which will make it so that your Aurora Veil will last the entirety of the game, basically eight turns, which in VGC is a pretty long time. A lot of our games don't go much past like 10, if anything. Uh, so yeah, so it, it is a very, very long time. Basically the whole game, Iron Bundle will have this uh, Aurora Veil up to support it and its teammates. So if we were to run the Aurora Veil on an Iron Bundle and get that off in the snow with Aurora Veil active, this close combat is doing 71% and wild charge is a roll in your favor to not to hit KO. Meaning that you can go ahead and go for that. What was that? What was that? That was a 148 
special attack blizzard let's go ahead and give that that investment so 148 special attack blizzard now, granted, this is Assault Vest Iron Hand, so it doesn't actually do that much. But versus a lot of other Pokemon, it does do quite a bit. And let's say it's like Terra Grass. Why not? Now you're doing 50%. So it's a strong move. Also, you can Terra, because a lot of these guys actually do run Terra um, Ice on them for the extra offensive bonus. So yeah, that is like one variant that you can run. You tend to run it next to like a Life Orb, a Bomb of Snow, Blizzard, Leaf Storm, Terra Blast, Protect. Sometimes they're Focus Sash. But yeah, that, that is like one variant that you can run. But you can also switch it up where the Iron Bundle is actually holding the choice specs and you're running like, this is Nail Set, but he was Blizzard, Hydro Pump, Sleep Talk, Freeze Dry. You obviously invest more into your special attack. And then you have the Focus Ash Obama Snow next to it. Uh, you put Aurora Veil in the Obama Snow because it's more reliable on that than, you know, your choice specs Iron Bundle, which will click Aurora Veil and then not click anything else. So yeah, and you can run like Energy Ball, Blizzard, Helping Hand. Helping Hand is obviously very good next to the uh, Iron Bundle with the choice specs because let's just go ahead and calc that. Let's throw... Um, Let's put a, actually, first I want to show you this. So Fluttermane with like choice specs, right? Choice specs, Fluttermane, max special attack. Moonblast with all these multipliers up actually doesn't one shot you. And your blizzard does like 50%. So you actually do outspeed it. So you get two blizzards off and you will beat like, you know, four HP or four special defense uh, Fluttermanes with this spread. And, you know, for less investment, some of them run like 68 special attack or something. Um, then the Moonblast is doing even less, and your Dazzling Gleams are actually a roll in your favor to not even do a KO. So yeah, like it, it makes Iron Bundle actually a really threatening Pokemon, and that's just the opener. Uh, but yeah, so for the special attack Iron Bundle, where you run like Choice Specs, if we calc that damage, give this guy a Choice Specs. That Blizzard with Terrastal is doing 80% to a 4 HP uh, or a four special defense Fluttermane, which is like one of the less bulky ones. But with a helping hand, it's a guaranteed one shot. Now, if we switch over to like the bulky ones that are running actually a decent amount here, they're actually usually like, I don't know, they usually run something like this. They hit like 170 speed. And then, where am I missing the EVs? 100, I think they decrease this. Yeah, they decrease the special attacks. So yeah, this is like the, the bulkiest that a Fluttermane will tend to be 100 HP for special defense. Your Blizzard is still a one shot. That is a very scary thing to do, especially considering that Timid Iron Bundle will always outspeed a Timid Fluttermane. Um, so yeah, that is a very powerful combination to have. It is scary and having 100% accurate Blizzards is just one of the most threatening things ever. Uh, Nails also did slot Sleep Talk on his Iron Bundle because what it allows him to do is with that Choice Specs item, if he swaps in on a Spore, he's not helpless. He can actually go ahead and just click the Sleep Talk and it'll select a random move. Uh, and it'll select a different move each time. So Sleep Talk, he gets a Blizzard. Sleep Talk, he gets a Freeze Dry. Sleep Talk, he gets a Hydro Pump. It's a very scary thing to do. Like I said, Iron Bundle is sort of a mixture of a support mon or like a straight up offense mon. Obama Snow is there almost entirely out of necessity, but it also is pretty bulky. Like I mentioned, Iron Bundle has that 56 HP, 114 uh, physical defense and 60 special defense. Obama Snow is a little bit more well-rounded with 90 HP, 75 defense, one uh, and 85 uh, special defense. And they do tend to max out their HP stats. So it does become a very bulky Pokemon that is difficult to KO. Um, and they do tend to run Terra Water. So while you will lose that uh, ice type defense boost, uh, you do get a better defensive typing in exchange if you decide to Terra. Uh, and I do like Terra Blast on my Obama Snow personally when I run this sort of archetype because it allows me to beat out things like Arcanine uh, by swapping over to that water type and then one shotting it with a life or water move. So yeah, that, that is very powerful and I enjoy running that. I think it is a fun thing to do. So why is this such a strong opener? Well, it's because there are a lot of Pokemon that are really good right now that are super hyper offensive that lack physical defense. Um, when I tend to run these Pokemon, I like to run them with like Gyarados and Wo Chen because I enjoy having like a go mode on my stall teams. Uh, and Wo Chen provides that passive uh, physical defense bonus, basically, or, you know, it drops everything's attack stat, but it provides like a physical defense bonus to everything around it. Iron Bundle does the same thing for these Pokemon, uh, and arguably more effectively because it doesn't have to be on the field with it for it to work. Chi Yu is a very strong partner for Iron Bundle because not only does it like boost the Iron Bundle damage with the, uh, Blizzard and Terra Ice, uh, and Beads of Ruin active because it drops everything special defense stat, but also, it is a Pokemon that lacks physical defense. 55 HP, 80 defense isn't very bulky. It's actually quite frail. And on the special defensive side, it's it's like not the bulkiest, but it is decently bulky. 
What the Auroraville allows for Chia to do is you can actually just reliably go for like nasty plots and KO things, especially on variants of this team where um, you actually like drop one of these moves for Icy Wind. It makes Chiyu super threatening because you can go with like a bulkier Citrus Berry spread. Let's say you just hit like the, the bump, right? Let's say you hit a lot of people ask what the bump is. So you see how it's at 185 at 108. If we invest it, the 116, it goes to 187. We skip 186. That's what the bump is for everyone who asks. Uh, and then you just hit like 143 speed. So you outspeed like basically everything and then you can put the rest in like your bulk or whatever. Um, this makes it so that your Chi Yu behind screens is actually fairly bulky. You can go for like these nasty plots and then like Icy Wind and Heat Wave. Uh, and it's just like a really strong combination of Pokemon. Fluttermane is also very similar. Like I had mentioned, a lot of Fluttermane do run choice specs with a super bulky spread. Now, Fluttermane, despite being deceptively physically defensive when you invest heavily into it with, you know, max defense and 100 HP, which is a very common spread right now. Um, what this allows you to do is eat hits that Fluttermane otherwise wouldn't be able to hit or wouldn't be able to live that are a little bit ridiculous. So let's go ahead and turn on Auroraville on the Fluttermane side of things. So this is the exact same Fluttermane, right? And let's go ahead and throw in like a King Gambit. Assault Vest King Gambit. You can see that Iron Head versus this Fluttermane doesn't one shot from Adamant Max Attack King Gambit. It's super effective in this thing's HP is 55 and defense is 55. That That is ridiculous. You're taking less than half from Sucker Punches. It's such a ridiculous combo that it, it's, it, it should be, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say it should be banned. That's that's hyperbole, but it's really strong. You know, Choice Specs Terrastal Moonblast is a two shot on King Gambit. So while, you know, the Iron Head will do a lot and the Sucker Punch will do a lot, you do actually have a slight chance to live if they get both low rolls. If the Iron Head does 81.1 and the Sucker Punch does 17, what's that total damage? That's like 98. Round up to 99 because, you know, 0.5. Um, you technically have a chance to win that 1v1. It's really funny. It's unlikely, but it's something I want to point out. It's so stupid. So yeah, that's basically what Iron Bundle does for um, this metagame. Is it, it will run like this Obama Snow Iron Bundle lead with hyper offensive Pokemon in the back that lack physical defense and just go all in for the rest of the game. It's like super scary. If we look at Nail's team, he actually doesn't have a Chi Yu, but he does have some hyper offensive Pokemon. The Fluttermane, I would say, is the main benefactor of this um, Aurora Veil, but also notice that there is a choice band multi scale Dragonite. That's pretty scary. Um, multi scale Dragonite's already really difficult to KO, but when like your first attack is doing what, two HP? to the multi-scale plus like Aurora Veil combo, that's like super threatening. King Gambit is also a Pokemon that is super, super bulky, especially with an Assault Vest. Now with the Aurora Veil up, how much would this King Gambit take from like a low kick? I'm actually really curious. Hold on, let me pull up the damage calc. So let's throw a, well, I guess we just have this random King Gambit here. Let's give it Aurora Veil and let's put like, I don't know, Tyranitar with like a low kick, right? Terra Flying AV, low kick. Bam, your King Gambit lives low kicks, not even with max HP. Like this is like a non-max HP King Gambit taking a low kick. That's stupid. That's so funny. So yeah, you can sort of get the point of what I'm saying here. And it does positive into a lot of things that are super common right now. If we take a look at the results from Portland Regionals, I would actually say it goes pretty even into Sun, uh, surely due to the fact that uh, you can go ahead and just reactively get like your Obama Snow in. Uh, you can also tear a water on whatever. Um, you have like a grass immunity. You can remove, or not a grass immunity, you have a sleep powder immunity in like the uh, Obama Snow. Uh, you can also go for like sleep talks with the, uh, what's it called, with the uh, iron bundle if uh, the if you have to like switch in on like a sleep powder. Uh, you can get rid of the snow in that, or you can get rid of the sun and then iron bundle outspeeds everything. And of course, it's just like really nice into all that. Uh, into the Don Dozo archetypes, it's actually really positive still because Don Dozo if it doesn't burn its Terra, and a lot of them are Terra Grass right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, if they stay Water or Grass, your Freeze Dries with the Chi Yu on the field actually do a ton of damage. And versus like Choice Specs, um, versus like Choice Specs Terra Ice um, Iron Bundle, Don Dozo, even with like the boosts up, it's not going to two shot it, and you're likely going to go ahead and two shot it with Freeze Dry. So you don't get two shot by like Earthquake or Order Up or like Wave Crash, but you will win that exchange every time. And into Pala Balance, it's mainly just like 
go all in. Pallet Balance relies heavily on things like Amoongus to keep the team healthy, as well as Pokemon like Arcanine to reduce damage output from physical attackers. But when you're such a special attack heavy archetype with access to like Terra Water moves or even just Hydro Pump, it makes it difficult for anything to switch in on it. And we did run those calcs earlier. We saw that um, the Flutter main gets like two shot. Uh, obviously, Palafin does not eat a choice specs freeze dry from Terra Ice uh, Iron Bundle. It, it's basically just like hyper offense. And it makes it really difficult for things to keep up with it. And I guess that's why Nails was so successful in this tournament. So yeah, that was just a brief breakdown as to why Iron Bundle and Obama Snow are the uh, hip new kids on the block. And yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, make sure you leave them down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.